Hi, welcome back to my cup of TV with Jenny. JD. I can't. Oh, you're still on that side. That's good. I am still on side. As you can see, we have had a change of venue. Mm. I've moved house. As you can tell by my general. <laughs> and, and the naked background. <laughs> yeah. the, merch is, the merch is fine. It hasn't been stolen. We're just, you're going to figure it out. It was wrapped to, very carefully. Yeah, you're going to figure out where to put it. Yeah, what I'm going to do with it. Mm. So I'll do something. Um, yeah, and we're going to change the venue and the merch is gone. Also, Erin. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Erin. Erin's going to be getting married, and she's got a lot to do. So. And we're hiding. From we're hiding as a bridesmaid. I'm yeah. hiding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It'll be great. Um. Yeah. So it hasn't been that long since we last filmed, has it? Right. No, but Erin was also not in that last set of no, videos either. So I'm yeah. afraid that you guys are going to think that we've like knocked her off. I was like, she is alive. I swear. They mm. didn't. Jenny didn't kill her in a fight over V. Okay, it's fine. She gave him up she, willingly. She's alive. She's alive and well. She's just yes. doing other plans and yeah. Yeah, as you would have seen on Instagram, I was with Erin recently. <laughs> we had a great time. I think on behalf of everyone, we'd like to say good effort. Good effort. That was yeah. good. That was a good what? video. We went to the DJ and we said we wanted BTS and we were going with Dynamite, thinking okay, most people know Dynamite, mm. you know. And he said, "Oh, I've got butter or permission to dance." And then it was like. <gasps> Pressure, which which would be pink. Always both. So we went with butter, and we thoroughly enjoyed it. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that is uh, that's what we're going to look forward to. Don't worry, butter, permission to dance, and dynamite are on the playlist at Erin's wedding. So they are. We will thoroughly enjoy all of those. Yes. And, and if yeah, I can attempt to drug the DJ and take over. I will then be playing <laughs> everyone Korean mic drop as well. Your name is DJ Backwards. I know, right? <laughs> so I'll just like, move over. <laughs> I also very much appreciated Erin's rapping because I always appreciate Erin's attempts at rapping. Yes. Oh. And I watched that video back and thought, I'm sure I knew RM's bit. Yeah, but I know he's in a bass low. <laughs> <laughs> it's like how I rap in Korean. Uh, last bit. <laughs> Sounds similar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's too much pressure, too much pressure. Suddenly the camera was on yeah. you, drinking and having to remember all the words. I don't know. No, but it was very good. Good effort. Fun. Very good. <laughs> just trying to keep Erin in shot. She has a tender to wander whilst drunk. <laughs> she, she just wants to command the space and you're like, no, 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 this is the camera. <laughs> just, I mean, just FYI, you think you're going to see Erin at this wedding on Thursday. Like, you're not. Like, she, you'll see her from a distance. That's fine. Safe because she is a wanderer. Mm -hmm. she'll pop in for a song and then she'll be off it's nice having you like that I thought I can talk to you properly because I'm not hiding behind yeah. the chair and you can't reach me which is always good <laughs> I didn't reach you before yeah the angle before it was that was, was okay when she was like no when you're on that but side I had to turn then, yeah whereas yeah, now you're just naturally in that imagine line, the calories so. I'm burning I have to turn I know right <laughs> you're welcome you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, this video is Steve Aoki. This you haven't yours. seen this. this is your I've, choice. I've seen this, but I did have to skip. That there were two songs in there I didn't know. And as soon as it started, it's like, I don't know that song. I have to skip ahead. Mm. But you've given me permission to watch these songs. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Um, what I've. Songs are was it wasted? Oh, wasted on, on me. Okay, yeah, so yeah, we know yeah. that was one. It Blueberry Eyes, I think it was called. I can't it's think of. Yeah, I can't think oh, of. Okay. It's a different artist featuring Sugar. I, I can't I think of that. that one. Wasted on me, though. I do know. I can't think of that one off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure I've heard all of their features with other artists and things like that, but not all of them are on my playlist, so I don't necessarily regularly yeah. listen to them. My favourite one is Sugar and Are You. Um, but, um, well, no, because this was uh, Mike Drop reached a billion views on YouTube, so Steve yeah. Aoki did a special video, and I thought, it's technically not BTS, it's Steve Aoki. I can watch it. Yeah, I've seen oh, footage. Of, <laughs> yeah, the looper. I've seen footage of Steve Aoki doing remixes at his raves, um, and he puts BTS songs in there. Obviously, especially really my job, and, and that just looks amazing. So yeah, yeah. So this is cool. Fun. I'll be excited to see what he does. Okay. Good. Okay. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe over on Patreon. We are four videos ahead. There's exclusive content and like dance practices, all those things that are exclusive. Mm. Social media links below. And yeah, that's it.
I just really appreciated the skill it takes to do this. Mm. You should do it with layering, and it's got to be the beats per minute, and... Yeah. I wonder if they've seen this. It is. They wouldn't let Steve down, of course they have. <laughs> Yeah, but Big Hit would have done that. I don't know if the boys have actually seen it. But... Okay, can we have this version at the wedding? That's what I mean. I would love to go out and have yeah. this. I love that he's going for it as well on his own. He enjoys it, yeah. It's his passion. You can tell. What a great way to introduce BTS for people that are maybe not into the, or don't just go for that genre. Yeah. Original enough that you don't mm. feel like you're changing everything. Yeah. He's choosing when he's going to take it away and then make it a remix. Yeah. Which is good. You see it, Steve. <laughs> Love that. that. <laughs> <laughs> <Toast>. <laughs> I would just go crazy for this mm. in my night out. This would be so fun. You know how they did like the butter and then they had the hotter remix, the cooler remix? This I, should have been one I of them. I would be happy for every BTS track to come so, with a BTS and a Steve Aoki remix. remix. Yes, <laughs> this, is, this is definitely a version. weren't into this type of club music you'd still appreciate it do you know what I mean because it's still very catchy. I would say I'm massively into club music but I can imagine being in a club this being on and it's having the best yeah. time yeah I would listen to this yeah I mean his remixes of Mike Dropper his yeah. concerts this just make people go mad Tell you what would be amazing. It's 
Steve Aoki, Paul Party in Vegas. Oh wow. Doing this. But it has to be like over 25. None of these young skinny people. <laughs> no soft stands allowed, I'm afraid. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's true, yeah, yeah. Be the Nuna party. <laughs> Ooh, truth untold. Is this yeah. the one you were saying is unexpected? I said to JD earlier that there was a song in this that you wouldn't expect, and I was just like, what? You wouldn't expect how, how on earth could a club remix be done with this? Didn't he write this? Yeah, yeah, this mm. is. He, he helped with this, yeah. So he will have certain rights to use this material yeah. because he helped create it. I love this bit of Jin's voice. It's really lovely. slow song on the radio had a remix that we played in the club. Mm. Like all the one that stood out to me was Adele Someone Like You. Oh. And that was like and that Louis Capaldi one recently. Mm. Yeah. So this is almost bringing in a bit more like EDM, like a little bit of that electronic vibe to it. I really like that this doesn't sound anything like the other remixes he did, like the sounds he's picking yeah. out are really different. Oh, I like that beat. <laughs> Fast beat, that's good. I also love that he brought this out for the one billion streams of mic drop, and it's like, there's no, and it came out like on the day, mm. which tells you, you had this ready, you've practiced these. <laughs> mm. You, know, you just know that at home he does this clearly for fun. Maybe, yeah. Let's see, if it's his passion, then that's obviously why he's so good at it, which is great. Like I said, he does play a couple of these at his raves. I've yeah. seen footage of this. People go nuts for his club remixes of like Mike Drop. that zone and you're just jamming it at home do you know what I mean the music itself is fueling you yeah. so I imagine that he has that amount of passion for it anyway but yeah like if you've got the crowd there yeah. on top it must just be amazing it's a balance though isn't it because I probably think that the crowd often feeds off the DJ as well but he's jumping around oh for sure you know, rather than if he was just stood there the whole time looking down yeah no I, I I much prefer his vibe like yeah. he's into it and you can tell he's a fan just yeah. as much as his his that crowds are this is wasted on me 
Yeah. Yes, because this is where I skipped before because I didn't know the song. Okay. Well, we can watch Waste It On Me afterwards if you want because then you'll hear the original. It's English. Mm. I thought Dynamite was their first English song. No. Trying to think, it's great. You know, you can't think of a song when you've got another song playing. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Um, obviously, the Steve Aoki remix and Mike Drop obviously has got lots more English in it. There's an original Korean version. I can't remember if Waste It On Me is fully English or if it's just the chorus. I think it might have some Korean in it, but okay. I, I haven't listened to it for a little while. But that was the video that I told you about with King, Ken Jong in it. Yeah. Oh no, it is because it was written by Steve Aoki and he asked three of them, I think it was three of them. I think it's just Jim and JK and RM. Yeah. So it's not a full uh, length, okay. all of BTS. It, although no, it is marketed as, yeah, so it's a, there's not all of them in it. That's very common with DJs though, isn't it? To write a song and then they invite someone to do the vocal. Yeah, well he wrote it after he collabed with them for Mic Drop. Wow. So I think he wrote it with their voices in mind. Yeah. Which again is such a compliment, isn't it? Yeah. For someone to go away and write something and be like, guys, I, I wrote this with you in mind. I'd really love it if you'd sing it. Yeah. Jimin's in it as well. That's back more think, back yeah. Then, yeah. No, I was thinking I only heard R M and J K. Jimin's in it as well. Yeah. Sure. Oh, is this something you were saying about? Is this that blueberry yeah. one? Yeah. I I know this one, but I don't have it on my playlist. Okay. Yeah. This is quite a recent one, actually. Does sound familiar. Well, because it's his song featuring Sugar, it would have been played on radio yes. over here. Mm. But they can do that sometimes on the radio, don't they? Where they just edit it just to have like two thirds of the song and then that's it. Well, they would just take the sugar mm. Yeah. I know. Rude. This girl is like Matt Schneider. Mm. I'm not familiar with like his other work or if he's got other songs out or anything. Oh, 
I love the idea that like he writes a song and he just gets in touch going all right got a song I need you or that they also do a song and they like send it to him like do what you want with it <laughs> what I have seen in like, social media posts and stuff they do seem to be good friends mm. yeah they um, they visited him in, in America when they were on their tour as well they weren't working together at the time or anything but they just yeah. visited him because they were in the area so but that I think is nice because it's like when they collab with someone like Halsey as well like, and then you can just genuinely see like they are friends as well yeah. it's about like they love the music but also they just as people they do genuinely like each other which is yeah. why like Halsey is protective over BTS Woo! when they ask about the yeah. I love you guys we want more brilliant views on my truck I can't believe it I still can't believe it thank you guys so much this video is for you this set is just for you here we go. I like the way that the video is in the background. Just want one of them last time yeah, jumpers. I know, right? I mean, I want them all, but I'll accept just one. No, I just, just want one. JK's one, man. I JK's just, one, all sugars. Yeah, but we just we want one unwashed one. <laughs> Worn by BTS. No, that's a general unwashed jumper. Yes, yes. Worn by BTS. why he plays this at raves though it's yeah. totally like it would get you out of your seat <laughs> he's having such a good time don't you when you're in your room yeah that's what <laughs> I mean God, yeah awesome. I was getting ready for bed and I had some of the slower ones on and next thing I knew I was starting around to Ego I was like how has this happened I was supposed to be calming down <laughs> Ego's a jam though isn't it it is, it is a chill but it's kind of uplifting yeah I think of a carnival when I hit that mm. I got woken up the other morning to something really like <laughs> That's the, the danger of asking Alexa to just wake you up by BTS. I mean Earth starts <laughs> <laughs> I found that move so annoying. Which one? You know, he's about to pop off and does that, and his whole body does it, and you stand up in the mirror like, how yeah. is this? <laughs> I mean, it looks like you should be able to do it. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
you know when you've watched this music video so many times with subtitles that I'm kind of mouthing along to the Korean, but in my head I know what they're saying because mm. <laughs> I've seen it that many times. Yeah. Don't mean in your head you've got the English words. Mm. Now I think we shouldn't have done this as a first video on a Saturday. We should have done it as the last and then we'd be going out. Oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just say, if I'm trying to out. leave and go to sleep, then no. But yeah, out, out. Yeah, for sure. No, it was so good. Fun. It was a little mini concert. Yeah. Wicked. Really, really good. And now I just really want to go see Steve Aoki. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let the world open up again. Come around and do a concert. But I said it during. I feel like... Obviously, he hasn't gone, oh, it's coming up for one billion views, I'll get this thing ready. You feel like these are songs he's played around with before? I, I think, like, because that's his passion, like, when Butter came out, he's probably like, oh, let me play with this. Like, I imagine that that's kind of what maybe a DJ would do anyway, as yeah. in they probably have loads of tracks and what that they've played with without the intention of releasing it as an actual yeah. remix. Well, especially because of copyrights and stuff. Yeah, but also yeah. that's probably a way that they keep practice, right? It's by hearing tunes and then yeah. trying to, to match the beats for a minute and, and making whatever remixes you, you can imagine. It's, they're those it's playing on their creativity. They're those talented people that can hear a song and be like, oh, I'd just do a little... Mm. Yeah. <laughs> It does show you the difference between like wedding DJs and actual proper DJs. <laughs> yeah, what an actual a real yeah. DJ. Yeah. Right. See, so, yeah, they are they are different things, aren't they? Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. It's true, and that's it. You know when you hear a bad DJ, yeah. you're like oh no. But then again, would you call him a DJ, or would you call him more like a producer? He you know, he's, he's both. Yeah. Well, he's a writer as well, isn't mm. he? Yeah. yeah. It's one of those things that actually there are a lot of people, someone like my dad, old school, who would say, well, that's not a musician, you know, mm. but it is. Mm. Yeah. Well, Do you know what I mean? It's also, a different yeah. type. It's a modern musician. There's but also different types of DJs as well that yeah. look at that and they may say first instinct, which I am not a DJ, so I have no comparison. I have no idea. I still think that's amazing talent. But like old school DJs that had to do it with the, the, the decks, yeah. they had to match the beats per minute then and then sync it in flawlessly yeah. that I can imagine was a lot harder whereas now Steve obviously does his mixing and everything with soundboards and so there's a lot more computer yeah. stuff in it but I still think that there's a lot both are a skill yeah for sure I mean I couldn't do those that's the way I generally look at things I look at something and go can I do it mm. no then I have no Respect. right to judge I have to be impressed exactly. because <laughs> exactly that's it and that's the mindset that a lot of the time, to be honest, we're asking people to have with BTS. It's like, don't knock it before you've even given it a chance or you you know, say to yourself, yeah. like, could I do that? No, then just, you don't have to like it, but you don't have the right to shit on it because you need to pay respect yeah. that someone else can do it and is making that effort. So, yeah, but no, that's really good. Are they are they somewhere? Can we can yeah, we I mean, get I them on listen Spotify? to them? Yeah. I want them on a playlist. That'd be really Especially good. Because we are going to a BTS night out, a BTS club night, aren't we? Yes. So okay. I'm excited for that. If they played that as well. Oh my god, it'd be so good. Yes. So we're going to a night out in is it is it Islington? Yeah. Uh, when is it? I haven't got 24th of September. Yeah. Um in collaboration with uh BTA, BTS UK, UK BTS Army, Army Unite. Unite. Yeah. yeah. So we're yeah, going to be going to that. that. I think it's over 18s. So if you are under 18, and sorry, um, but anyone that's there that watches. If you're under 18, you should be watching our videos. <laughs> yeah, not safe for children. It's not safe for children. <laughs> but if you are there and you see us come like, hello. Yeah, it's so fun. good. We can all jam out to some BTS. It'll be so we good. We might get some songs we haven't heard. Oh, <laughs> this is, yes, we need to do some of the big ones that they haven't. Erin needs Shit, to get her arms here. If they do remixes or anything of like... Yeah, so, yeah. It's yeah. a good point. Good point. Get to do my Korean rapping in public. People will be impressed. That's really, you know, everyone there. Everyone there. If you're yeah. giving it a go, living their best life, doesn't matter if you get it wrong, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, so that'd be really good. Can't, can't wait for that. It's been so long since we've been able to sort of go out and have a dance or anything. 
Do you it know what I mean? has, but now I feel like going out and having a dance. I'm like, but I, I want to dance to BTS. Mm. <laughs> And the idea that we can go somewhere and no. be just BTS, full of people that are going to appreciate it as well. Yes, that's what, it's going to be that's a new experience, about. absolutely. We'll be meeting Army in the Wild. I've never met Army, Army in the Wild. wild. <laughs> I love when people say that. Yeah, no, I've only like assimilated people slowly, case in point. But um, yeah. I did see someone actually um, walking near my work. And you know, it's only afterwards it registers. Their shirt said, I wish I just saw, oh, nah, nah, nah. And then I was like, Oh, no, 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 no. It's happy chest jump up. I've seen it on me. I love the way that in order to like process that in your head, you have to make the noise yeah. out loud. <laughs> well, there's you a lot can't of just be like, or la-las or na-las. That's it, yeah. Na-las and na-las, yeah. yeah. That's it. It's like a tribal <laughs> call. Oh, na na na. <laughs> See if they come back. Well, could yeah. you imagine like seeing Steve Aoki in the wild? You'd be like, oh my God, Steve Aoki. You'd be like, hi, because... I love BTS and you love BTS. I wouldn't, your friends. I wouldn't even say his full name. I'd just be like, Steve! <laughs> <laughs> so that was Steve Aoki's uh, present to Army for mm. 1 billion views. Thanks, Steve. Thank Enjoy you. That. If you want to give us more gifts, Steve, <laughs> please do. The PO box is there. We accept BTS members. <laughs> He's got a chance of getting hold of them. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. See, talk about who you know. Uh, so, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.